Are you done? <laughs> you are caught in the action! <laughs> so, hello grains! Welcome to another Vlogmas. Today, I am going to be unboxing a hidden box of Sophie and Toffee. So I definitely totally forgot about this craft subscription box. It, for some reason, it was still even in the packaging for delivery, and I just didn't know. I completely forgot I had it. Right, Burb? You're so agreeable. Look at your feathers. So around every November, December, he kind of like goes crazy on his feathers. The vet did come and see him. His skin is fine. His environment is good. Humidity levels are good. So we're either guessing that it's just past trauma that keeps reoccurring and kind of that habit is coming back. Or the second thing is maybe he's going through a hormonal phase. Oh, you seem to agree with that. <laughs> Do you want a girlfriend? Yeah, but I can't get you a girlfriend because I don't think I can handle twice the amount of screaming. You know that? Oh, and by the way, let's rewind what he did at the beginning. That apparently is him petting me. He's being very gentle. Do you want to get pet? I guess that's a no. So what I'm really excited about this Sophie and Toffee box... What are you doing, Bird? That's not your box, you know. All right, there he goes. Is that it is a licensed Sanrio product collaboration. For those of you who don't know, Sanrio is a company that makes those cute little things like Hello Kitty, for example. So this collaboration box came out, I don't even remember. Uh, I guess we'll find out with the insert card. So as you can see, it is officially licensed with Sanrio. So they made a collaboration box. For those of you who already got it, great. I, I completely forgot about it. I'm sorry. Or am I? I'm not sorry, because we're going to unbox it together. Burp. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh. Peekaboo. Puts his head down and waits for me to do it. You ready? <laughs> You're so cute. Peekaboo. I said peekaboo. If you haven't seen the bird movie, I'm going to be very annoying. Make sure that you do watch it. Link in description and the iCard section. Watch. <laughs> See, even he says watch the Burt movie, right? Peekaboo. <laughs> All right, so again, I have no idea, completely forgot what's in there. So it's like discovering it completely together. Oh my god, that is the cutest pastel-y thing I have seen in a long time. Let me bring my camera just over here. This is the Little Twin Stars Elves box. Is this a premium Elves box? No, it's a regular one. We have this here. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Kind of like a little note card. That's adorable. And then, are these stickers? Army good stickers! And they are individually cut too, so you can see... Oh, I love her. I really love this aesthetic because it looks kind of like watercolors, so it really does bring back these, this kind of like, I don't know, calmness to it. That's the word I was looking for, calmness. So we have a sticker sheet. Did I skip something? Yes, I did. Okay, it is July's box. Whoops. Yeah, that was, that was so not on purpose. I'm sorry. And then we have the list of things. We're not going to look at it. And then we have the their blog. We have their Instagram and Facebook. So you can QR that if you ever want. You can pause and do the doing. And we have the thing. We're not, we're not going to look at it. Oh, I dropped it completely. Look at this. I don't know why, but I love these packing peanuts. Oh, I can use these for Simply Neological's package that I'm going to send out after the holidays. Many of you said just send it after the holidays in case it gets lost and there's too many packages and last minute people. So I'm going to listen to you guys because y'all smarter than me. So we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put everything aside and we're going to look at things one by one. What is this? Get out of here. All right, so I'm taking out the most obvious thing, which is resin, because in every Sophie and Toffee subscription box, we do get resin. So for this one, we are getting AB epoxy resin, a one-to-one -one ratio. I love the resin because look at that. It's pretty liquidy. And a liquidy resin means that it's going to be a lot less bubbly. And the less bubbles in your projects, the way better. So I definitely recommend their AB resin if you're doing bigger projects. But let's take a moment 
moment here. By the way, I'm sorry for those of you wearing headphones and I know that the sound is on one side more than the other. That's because the microphone is in front and I'm sitting right behind it. I can try and center it. Give me a second. All right, that is as good as centering as I can get. So what I was trying to say is let's admire the custom stickers here for little twin stars. This is really pretty. One day I'm going to have my own custom stickers on my own thing. But for now, let's appreciate this one here. Super, super cute. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. So not only do we get the AB resin, which is already pretty good because you can do way bigger projects, but we get a UV resin. That is a really good box. So we have a UV resin in clear type and the hard one also. Again, let's just admire this over here. Some people asked me what is the best kind of light for UV resin. And right here, it does say the 36 watt and it'll give you the time and of course that depends on the thickness and of course of how far it is from from your light so cute air maker now we're getting into the decoration i'm gonna show the more twin star thing later on over here that is pretty again look at that we get cute little labels i'm in love with these why do i like silly details can someone explain to me please why do i like silly details and if you like silly details let me know what kind of details do you really enjoy for me seeing a label that is custom made is like that is that is good detailing let me know what kind of little details do you admire that you're not sure if other people admire did i say peeper english number one so in case you don't know, this here is pigment dye for resin. So that is really cute. We get solid pink and solid blue. Hopefully we'll have a chance to just test it out real quick, but that is really cute. Now we're getting into the, oh my gosh, into the crafty stuff. Look at that. We have all of these crafty things to look. Oh, what are you? What are you? That is in there. Okay, so this is a silicon mold. And of course it's a bigger one. So this here is very delicate because it's not a very deep indent as you can see. So what it, what I'm thinking is that it's probably, you could just do a couple of colors and then afterwards just when you unmold it, it's going to be like a small indent. So you could probably do like a, a brown wash and then wipe it off and have the indents showing kind of like with the dice mold. But even then I don't, I think it's as deep as the dice mold. That is really cute. Let's continue with the theme of mold. Ooh, the star and moon. I think I have one of these molds. Or maybe I have like a star and heart. Or was it a star and seashells? I don't remember. But I'll, you know what? I'll just keep this one in the wrapping just so that it doesn't get too dirty. I think this moon is faceted. Yes. So it's kind of like faceted, which makes it kind of look like a cut diamond, I believe. So of course their molds are really pretty. We can maybe test something out on it. And is this a mold? I don't know. Okay. I think it is a mold. Yes. Oh, that is quite sticky. So here we again have faceted type molds. So you can see they look like gems. Kind of reminds me of like the hearts in, in like Zelda crafts. That is really cute. Oh, this is a bubbly heart too. Okay, that is adorable. So we have this mold, which is really round. That is very unique. Maybe something would have been cool in the middle. Maybe we could have had a rupee from the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and then, <gasps> no. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll see what I'm talking about as soon as I, I figure out how to open it. Can you please incorporate? There we go. Okay, so we get a set of glitter. That is a nice case. Again, me and silly details. This is a really, really nice case though. Okay, that's really pretty. So as you can see, this glitter has little stars in there. Ooh, little twin stars. I thought I saw hearts, but I don't think so. I think it's mostly hexagons and stars. You know what? Let's try to open it and mess up my whole... Oh, no, 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 no. That is way too packed. Am I gonna regret this? Please don't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is that? Is that sticky? Wait, why is this wet? Is that on purpose? Give me a second. Let me read the card. Oh, it's true. I threw the card away. Give me a second. Let me get up and find it on the floor. <laughs> All right, so it obviously says glar glitter. Whoa, can't speak. Glitter, dang it. 
<laughs> I can't talk. What? It obviously says Stars Glitter Mix. So this one here really is gooey. I don't understand why. That is just the weirdest thing ever. Look at that. It's wet. It's obviously very wet. See? How can I show you? So if I grab this here, I, I can't show you, but it is wet. All right, so I checked on their Instagram and yes, it is supposed to be sticky because you can use it on also kind of like body decoration. And I love that they're very conscious if you don't want to sh want Want to wash? Wow, Englishing today. Very nice. Very good English today. They say that you can use a cotton and clean it up. So that's that's nice of them to include that. So yeah, it is it is on purpose. At least I know I'm not going to drop it everywhere. So now I can be less worried. So here we have the reddish one. It's really pretty. Let's do a test in that case, since that's totally on purpose. It is so pretty. I really love these colors. Oh my god. <gasps> that is so pretty. Yes, I did see hearts. Okay. I totally saw hearts. It is really cute. Oh my god, that is fabulous. This is the pink one, the iridescent white one. And there seems to be two pinks. This one is a lighter pink, kind of a baby-ish type pink. Look at that. And they're all very iridescent-y. They're not hollow. That's that's something to keep in mind. And this one is a blue one. Very pretty. I kind of want to put the blue one too. Feels like a little goes a long way. So here's the red one and here's the blue one. Oh my. Yeah. I wonder how long they stay. Look at that. I feel like wearing that for my birthday. <laughs> So cute. And then the last baggie over here, I think these are open bezels, at least from what I could see on the outside. Oh, that is a cute little bag. Yeah, details, dumb details. Oh, are these sticker sheets? Okay, so anytime you want to make these, they gave us little sticker sheets that we can just put behind them. We get eight of them. That's really convenient. Very helpful. All right, let's look at the pieces. We get one silver and one gold of these two designs. So here we have the two little twin star characters in gold and white on top of an adorable cloudy thing on top of a star. Every time I see a star shape like this, I can't help but think about Kirby for some reason. Those are really, really cute. And they are good bezel quality. And then we have them on this kind of crescent moon, I believe. It could be a crescent moon or it could be a boat, but I think it's a crescent moon because right behind there's a star. So. My guess is the theme of being in the sky kind of thing. And so here is everything that we got in the little twin star box. It is adorable. These little charms are super cute. I could do a craft. I think it'll be more fun to do a craft with this probably during the holidays when I'm not uploading a video on my regular channel. Probably doing a live stream with a craft could be something fun to do while we're relaxing and just hanging out together. So yeah, that could be fun, but definitely not with this because this takes like eight hours. I don't think I'm ready to stream for eight hours. Oh my god, this glitter thing. I am really obsessed with it. This is super, super cute. By the way, remember when I unboxed this? I forgot the date I unboxed it, so I'm gonna leave the date over here. And it's supposed to come in scented, and it still smells really good. So I figured I would update you because the scent is more faint, but it's still there. So that's always good to know that it smells so good. Mm. If you want to watch, oh, we're so close to each other, more vlogmases, make sure you check up here. I compiled a playlist in case you've missed any. And if you want to watch something that is not vlogmas, check out some of my Japan trip stuff. I'll see you greens in the next video.